Hey guys, so um, in this town somewhere in Connecticut, I forget where it is, there's a flea market called Elephant's Trunk Flea Market. And um, it's actually the largest flea market in New England. So in Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, uh, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, the biggest. And I mean, it's huge. It's a long drive, but um, but I mean, it, it's so good. Like you're bound to find something good. And today I went and I found a lot of good stuff and for a pretty good price. Um, so yeah, uh, let me start with this bumper sticker. So um, I first saw it, I was excited. McCarthy has faith in America. And I was a little weirded out um, because like McCarthy, I, saw, I thought it was for Eugene McCarthy in his 1968 presidential campaign. Um, I thought, uh, I was weirded out because it says has faith in America and McCarthy, did not do a patriotic approach to his campaign at all. So, you know, the America part, I was kind of weirded out by. But as I'm driving, or my dad's driving home, I'm, you know, I'm looking at all the pins and stuff. I see the John McCarthy for Senate committee. It's not even Eugene McCarthy. But still, um, I paid like, like $2 for it or something, so I'm fine. But, um, but, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I paid $5 for it. Yeah, that's right, $5. Um, so, eh, not very happy with it, but it's still cool. I mean, if you hang it up, you know, you just think of Eugene McCarthy just because of that lettering. It's kind of like the McCarthy feel. Um, going in the pins now, uh, so there's this I'm for Nixon one and the Draft Rockefeller one. Um, Draft Rocker, I do believe, Rockefeller, I believe is three inches. Um, yeah, this is compared to a 3.5 inch, so, yeah, it's about three inches, I would say. Um... But the Rockefeller and I'm for Nixon, they're really cool. Um, you know, the Nixon one has a yellow backing, which I thought was weird. But uh, Rockefeller, I'm not really sure what year these are from. Because Nixon, or Nixon I'm thinking is 1968. But Rockefeller, oops, sorry. But Rockefeller, this could be like for, um, for 1964. When, during his failed campaign, um, 1968. It looks like more 1968, I would say. Or hey, even it could be, it could even be for his governor campaign too. Who knows? Oops. Um. Oh, but anyway, those. Oops, sorry, that's upside down. Those. What's special about these two? I said them together. The guy gave me them for free. I asked about him. It was this young guy. He said I could just have them. So yeah, it's really cool. And then. Um, here's another two, Neil Clinton carry. Um, what's cool about this one, well, it's for Bill Clinton. What's cool about this one is that um, this must have been worn by a Massachusetts person because, because um, John Kerry, who's a future presidential candidate, so you know, kind of cool. That's why I bought it, cause it has John Kerry on it. A uh, Bush Quail ninety two Bush for president, Quail for vice president. You know, not very rare. Um, but it's pretty cool still. And then here's one. Um, there's actually two of the same one right here. Um, elect Clay Gangus for governor. He was a Connecticut governor. Elect Clay Gangus. He was very popular. Um, uh, last profile present 92. I already have this one, but it's nice to have some doubles. Now this one, this is one of the good ones. Look at it compared to my hand. The political moment be the kid. You know what I'm talking about. You, you don't see FDR pins this large very often. Look at it. It's huge for an FDR pin. Oh my God, I was so happy when I saw this. For president, Franklin D. Roosevelt, victory, victory. Um, on This from 1940, so this is 80 years old. It has some condition issues right there, but nothing like seriously major. I mean, I guess that is kind of major, but not, you know, not taken from the value like completely, right? But oh my gosh. But I got this and this cool flicker. All the way with Adlai. Adlai Stevenson from 1952. These are one, two of the best ones here. All the way with Adlai. 1952 flicker. I got the flicker and this for only $5. $2.50 a piece. Oh my. That was probably the best deal of the, of the, um, of the flea market trip. Uh, Wallace for President Stand Up for America. I already have that pin, but I got it anyway. Um, Minor and Bowen for Senate. Just local pins. Don't really know who those people are. Uh, George W. Bush in 2004 when he was running for re-election. Here's it compared to my hand. Pretty small. 
Um, and then Shriver for President Sergeant Shriver, brother in law to the Kennedys from 1972. He made a weak attempt for the presidency, but, um, oh, I'm sorry, that's from 1976. Um, weak attempt for the presidency. And then Humphrey and Muskie from 1968. This is a 3.5 inch. It's pretty well, you know, it's a good pen. It's a good solid pen. Not really anything that special, but it's, it's a cool pen. Definitely. Um, Kennedy 80. And then Young, oh, and then one more after this, but Young Citizens for Humphrey, HHH. This one is really cool. I'm pretty sure this is a rare one. I haven't searched it up yet, but I feel like I've seen this, and it's pretty rare. On um, this 3.5 inch, I mean, I really like this one. Young Citizens for Humphrey, of course, Humphrey from 1968. Needed that young support to win the presidency. Um, and then finally, possibly the best pin in, in this collection, McCarthy. Oh, my gosh. Isn't this McCarthy pin just awesome? This is four inches. See, it's bigger than the 3.5 inches, right? Oh my God. It's an amazing pin. Eugene McCarthy, 1968. And yes, this is the actual Eugene McCarthy. I know what he looks like. And it, of course, his blue ribbon logo, you know, to, for working for the middle class, working for blue collar workers. This from 1968. And get this. I got this one, this one, and this one for only five dollars. Five dollars, not a piece. Five dollars together. That's like a dollar and seventy-five cents or something. A piece. A do I mean, this McCarthy pin. I bet you I could sell this pin on e on eBay for twenty-five, thirty bucks. I could sell Young Citizens for Humphrey probably 10 or 15 and Humphrey Muskie for 5 to 10. I mean, these pins go for a lot. Yeah, overall, um, these are my new pins that I got. And I, I'm really happy with it, actually. It was worth the drive.